Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. Uh, this is David with Geeks and Jocks, and today we're going to be talking about Phantom Rage, the new booster set that just came out for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. So, what does Phantom Rage bring to the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG? It's bringing uh, all the Phantom Knight support, the Raid Raptor support, XYC support, as well as a new way of fusion summoning. The, that way you can bring in tokens and also fusion summon twice. And we're gonna dive right into the episode. And just as a quick reminder, we wanna get to a thousand subscribers. So if you wanna subscribe yourself, share, and like this video, that will really help a lot. As well as comment what you wanna see in future videos. That will also help a lot. So uh, the best cards in the set are Divine, Arsenal, Double A, Sias, uh, Sky Thunder, also, as uh, Alpha Master of Beasts are the two most uh, sought after cards from this set. This set also brings 17 new uh, world premiere cards, uh, the most ever in a single booster set. Um, and as, also, it's bringing a crossover between Ultra Athletes and Formula Athletes. It's bringing out new uh, Ritual Fusion. XYC, Synchro, and Link Monsters to the set. And also it's bringing more support for Rise of the Duelist, one of the sets that just got released this year. Also bringing a new archetype called uh, Virtual World. And this archetype already took a very important and very large tournament in Taiwan. It was a 3v3. And virtual world basically got first place. So it's an archetype that we need to be following uh, because we know that it's going to get uh, more support down the road. Also, those two uh, cards that are most sought after in this set. Both of them are going to help out Zodiac archetype because the archetype is very XYC dependent, making Divine Arsenal very good because it's um, it's a way to get rid of your opponent board your opponent's board because since you already know you're gonna activate your divine arsenal you will not have a very big board and you can do it after the activation of the card and you get rid of uh the whole board of your opponent basically um it's a 3000 attack monster that also gets rid of everything that your opponent has because it doesn't destroy it sends it to the graveyard therefore you have a clean board and you can attack directly with a really big body that you want to have on your side of the board, as well as Alpha. It really helps Zodiacs because of some of the Zodiacs are also beasts. Beasts, Therefore, you can uh, uh, do the activation of F Alpha, which is a very good activation, making sure that you bounce your opponent's monsters. Or you get a really big body on the board basically for free because the the only condition is that for it to be special summon me uh, your opponent has to have more attack um, as the sum of your opponent's monsters than you have and if you have a clean board or you have less attack than your opponent's has then you can just uh, make uh, make sure that you bring it, bring out alpha also you can bounce itself. If you don't have any other beasts, and uh, as long as your opponent has more attack. So even though Alpha the Master of Beasts can only be used once per turn, it can be used itself to bounce back other creatures and to make room for a full-blown attack. If you have um, another creature that has less attack, obviously, than what your opponent had, and you just make sure that that card stays on the board and your opponent's cards are bounced back. Since it doesn't target, it really uh, bypasses a lot of cards that avoid being affected by other cards. Therefore, uh, Alpha the Master Beast, I think, is going to see a lot of play. Uh, maybe in some of the uh, other sideboards, but mostly uh, on the main board of some decks. Also, a card that you want to keep in mind is Arc uh, Rebellion XYC Dragon, because it's a very good uh, reusable negation that you can use once per turn if it has a dark... Um, it has a dark monster attached as material you can negate the effect of other monsters basically basically stopping all the uh effects that your opponent may use on his turn i mean on your turn and making sure that 
you negate anything that is problematic to you. Also, we have Dual Avatar. Um, Dual Avatar is an archetype that just came out in Phantom Rage. It's a very interesting archetype. It has very good cards in it, and we have to keep an eye on it. However, uh, the main theme for this uh, set will be that uh, Virtual World just came out as the archetype. It's a very good um, kind of... Uh, virtual World is kind of a uh, combo type of archetype. And uh, also, uh, another thing that we another thing that we need to keep in mind is that um, Zodiacs may come back uh, as a as a tier tier one at least uh, as a tier one archetype because of the boost that it gets with Divine Arsenal Double A, also with the boost that it gets from Alpha because most of its um, most of its monsters are beast type. And that is it for talking about uh, Rage, uh, Phantom Rage. Uh, I will recommend that you um, that you buy the singles that you want. Also, if you want to look uh, support your local game store, you can buy a booster box there and make sure that you're uh, that in this entire times um, you make sure also that in these times your local game store stays afloat. And uh, that's it for today's video, uh, Phantom Rage. I really agree. I really like what I see. I myself bought a lot of Divine Arsenal copies. I myself don't see uh, any card going over 100, but there's cards that definitely you need to pick up, such as Divine Arsenal, The Way, uh, Alpha, The Master of Beasts, The Phantom uh, Knight of Thorn Scales, also Argyrelion XYC Dragon. And uh, that is it for today's video. If you like what we post, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, we're going to like to thank our sponsors, uh, Game Inc. and Dex. Both links are in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.